day, y'all. How we doing today? Look here. I just got home from a trip. Woo, wee boy, look at that. I'm talking about some nices now. I ain't talking about no babies. Now, I cleaned 26 at a late. After my clients left, I went over to uh, a couple little holes that I hadn't fished in a week or so. I got another trip tomorrow, and I pulled, uh, I don't know, six or eight, seven fish out of there real quick. But look, I've, uh, I wanted to do a little review on his bubba knife, y'all, and show y'all how we do the the filleting, the cleaning process here, the TCO, the TCO outdoors way, y'all. First of all, you see, I got my nice little fillet table. I've had this thing about over 20 years, probably 22, 23 years. All right, and I got uh, it got me a nice little five gallon bucket. Cause when I sit down here sometimes. No, so, so, yeah, I get up a mess, but I go straight in and take a bath. But look, another reason I'm videoing it, I can't really catch the 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 shot I want without it blinding everybody. The sun in the background. So anyway, actually, <laughs> I got this new knife. It's a Pro Series Bubba knife, y'all. All right, it come with four different blades, and it's got a seven inch, a seven inch. E flex, then it's got a nine inch, nine inch E stiff. Alright, then of course we got our little scaler, and I got my favorite little old knife. That's the way when I fillet 99.9% of the times I'll use, uh, use my handy dandy fillet knife to cut the bones out, y'all. Now look at that. See what that says? It was custom built for me. Crappie killer, y'all. Check that out. That's pretty cool, ain't it? That right there is one of them Elk Ridge knives. And I'm going to tell you something. That's all, It's a nice knife, y'all. I sharpen it about once a week, you know. But I fillet a lot of fish, too, y'all. So look. Let's get started on this and see what happens. I'm going to start out. This knife is brand new. I haven't used it yet. Uh, I've actually got a Matabo. Uh, I've got all kind of fillet knives. I'm gonna have to apologize about the traffic, but I got a lot of people coming through here today for some reason. Anyway, uh, I've got a Matabo uh, Sawzall. It's a little hacksaw, a little small one with a fillet blade on it, all right? It works good, but when you get to the smaller fish, sometimes you'll whack them up if you don't know what you're doing, you know? So when I first started using it, it was, uh, it took me a minute to get used to it. So anyway, first step, always do. I get me a five gallon bucket and I fill it about a quarter of the way up with water, y'all. All right? That's for my scraps, okay? I got me a little old bowl right here. We're going to put all the fillets and put our fish in. Let's see how this bad boy works, y'all. It's that lithium ion. And we're going to check it out, y'all. I start right there behind the gill. You can see that go right across, right? Kind of catty corner. So, like I say, I've never used this knife. We're going to see what it's all about today. Oh, wait. Hey, hey. That sucker likes to fall in that bowl now. Oh, wait. Hey. I like how soft that sucker is. I like how flexible it is. Ooh, wee, hey. That fish, uh... Look at there, y'all. That fish had eggs in it. Huh. I've seen one more, one more this season that had eggs in it. And that, this will be the second one that I've seen all season. Anyway, hey, I'm gonna tell you something. That daggum knife now. I ain't gonna lie to you. I like that knife, y'all. Alright, now, that's all gone all our waste. It's gonna go right in the little old bucket over there. And we're gonna put our fillets with the bones and set them to the side, y'all. Alright. 
I'm telling you, I, I like this knife, y'all. That song run, it runs right along that dang thing. I'm telling you, you can't ask for no better. I hope y'all got a good view. I don't know if it's gonna work out or not. Boy, that, that old filet is so heavy. Man, look at that. They say it's real durable. I don't know. I don't want thing is sharp. And uh, you can literally feel, you can feel that backbone, y'all, with that blade, I'm telling you. That's how sensitive it is. Normally, I'd just flip it over with my other filet knife with a knife, but I don't know this knife. I never use it, so. I don't want to take no chance, you know what I mean? So I'll show y'all where I start. When I make my cut, I'll pick it up and show y'all. All right? I'll go right behind that gill. You can see that. All right? Caddy corner. Like that, y'all. Till, till I hit that backbone. When I feel that backbone, I just run right along that backbone. And I'm telling you, with this, with this knife and them blades, yeah, look at that, flipped it over. Look, that one had eggs too. With this knife and them blades, you can feel every daggone thing you doing. I ain't kidding. That's nice. I like that, y'all. I really do. Makes it <clears throat> makes it nice, cause sometimes. Uh, you know, when I have a couple hundred fish to clean or, or something like that, I got some people that, you know, help me out. And, uh, well, I've had some people literally, you know, mess up the play, not knowing what they was doing. And a good knife will really, really save you, y'all. Let's see if we got another big one. Well, he ain't quite as big. But he's still a nice fish. He's over, he's 12. He's 12 inches, y'all. Hey, I'm telling you, that knife, that knife makes it handy, y'all. Golly, come Yeah, hey, I'm telling you, you know, you're going by feel, right? And you can literally feel everything through them daggone blades. So, I'm telling you, if... I'm telling you my opinion of it, and this would be the fourth fish I've ever seen with it. You, uh, my opinion, it's a nice soft gun, y'all. Now look, the battery life is really, really kind of what sticks it, you know, really what gets me. So look at this. A lot of people may disagree with me, but this is the way I do mine. Now, some people like to do them whole, some people don't, okay? I'm just getting all them scales. You want to get them scales away from them up here at your fin, back there at the tail. You want all them scales gone. And look, I'm trying not to turn my phone over. Make sure you get all them scales, y'all. I can get them off the top, up around the eyes, everywhere. Now, when I was growing up, I did this with a spoon, y'all. We didn't have these, these little gadgets that they got now. We did it with a spoon. I'm serious, with a, just a regular old kitchen spoon now. So, I don't know. This little thing right here is like a 99 cents at Walmart. All right, now, this is where a lot of people are not gonna agree with me, right? I do this because around here at the house, this really grosses the kids out. Me, I love it, all right? I do this for the kids in the house and you know, the rest of the family. I cut their head completely off, just like that. Take that knife in the bottom, all right? <clears throat> Go just like that. Reach my hand in there, I pull all that out. All right? Then I start at the tail. 
Bam, cut to the bone. Bam, cut to the bone. Bam, cut to the bone. I do that three times, y'all. Start at the tail. Bam, to the bone. Bam, to the bone. Bam, to the bone. That makes sure when I get ready to fry that sucker, it's getting fried all the way through, y'all. And the cornmeal gets in them little holes right there and it makes it extra, extra crispy. I ain't kidding you. Look at there, y'all. So, oh, no, look at here. Got no. Look, hey, I forgot I had him. That's a good one there, too, y'all. These are good 12 inches. Oh, yeah. But, you know, every, everybody plays different. And, and sometimes, you know, sometimes these big ones, y'all, uh, you know, I'll do them whole too. But, you know, a lot of people say you're wasting a lot of meat. You know, I hear it all the time. And uh, I do agree with them, you know. But, you know, everybody's different. I'm going to tell you, I got you know six days a week five to six days a week sometimes seven days a week and i'm telling you 99 99.9 percent of my customers when i go to talking about whole crappie they like what in the world are you talking about but me hey i love whole crappie y'all i ain't gonna kid you i love them all right, y'all. Now, a lot of people, well, this one really you can't, but this one here you can. Look, a lot of people cut that straight across the whole rib cage. They cut it out, all right? They don't fool with that bottom. That's some good meat there, y'all. So I take my knife. That's the reason I like this knife here. It is extra, extra, extra sharp. And I can literally go right beside that rib cage. Look at that. And that sucker is ready to go, y'all. You get that bottom side of that rib cage and all. It is good to go, y'all. Look. That sucker right there is good to go. Man, I'm telling you. I am a believer in that knife, y'all. All righty, folks. Well... We got uh, got to trim the rest of these up, but I'm not gonna sit here and bore y'all with that. So I just wanted to give you a little insight on how we do our cleaning here. And mainly, mainly, I wanted to do a little review on that Bubba Pro, Bubba Professional. And I'm here to tell you folks, in my mind, that is a good filet knife, y'all. Hey. They're around $200, I believe. Right, I think I've seen it on sale. I got mine on Amazon on sale for like $170. Comes with a hard case. Comes with four different sets of blades. Comes with two batteries and a charger. Now, I don't know how long a battery is going to last, but I'll do a review on that later. Look here, guys. I appreciate each and every one of y'all following along. I appreciate the likes, the subscribes, the comments, everything. Look, God bless y'all. We'll see y'all next time. I'm going to get this finished cleaning up. It's cold out here. I'm ready to go into the house. i got a long day of fishing tomorrow, y'all. We'll see y'all next time.